Hello everybody. In this video, I am going to discuss about the Muon lifetime paradox in special relativity. It is one of the interesting problems in special relativity, uh, which can be easily resolved using uh, the postulates of relativity, particularly the effects of relativity, namely the time dilation and the length contraction effects. What is a muon? Muon is nothing but a subatomic particle. It's an unstable particle. It's heavier than the electron but lighter than the proton and neutron. Its mass is about 207 times the mass of the electron and its charge is equal to the charge of the electron or the positron. So we can say that plus or minus E, we know that positron is the antiparticle of the electron. So the muon can be therefore existing as either mu plus or mu minus and uh, after decay one would get uh, either the positron if it was originally if it were originally mu plus you would get a positron or you would get uh, an electron if it were originally mu minus along with some neutrinos as well uh, we are not going into the exact uh, reaction for the decay but uh, the muon is unstable so it decays how much time it decays it takes to decay how much time it takes to decay is called as the lifetime of the subatomic particle so lifetime is nothing but the time to decay so for muon this time is calculated to be about 2.2 microseconds so uh, it decays in about 2.2 into 10 power minus 6 seconds so such a short-lived particle it is so it is unstable it is decay where is it created muons are created in the upper atmosphere above earth's surface in the upper atmosphere uh, typically the heights are about uh, six and a half seven kilometers above the earth's surface So muons are created at this heights. How are they created? They are created due to collision of cosmic ray particles which are very fast traveling particles. When they collide with the molecules in the upper atmosphere, muons are created and these muons typically travel with speeds very close to the speed of light. So what is the speed with which muons travel typically? One can say typically about uh, 0.998 times the velocity of light so very close to the speed of light these muons travel right so at this velocity if the muons travel and their lifetime itself is very short about 2.2 microseconds so if we calculate the distance that the muons would be able to travel from the upper atmosphere to reach the earth's surface one can say that the distance d is equal to uh, the uh, velocity multiplied by the lifetime so one would say b t not let us use the symbol t naught this is equal to 0 0.998 into velocity of light let us take it to be 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second multiplied by this time 2.2 into 10 power minus 6 if you work this out, you would find the distance to be about uh, 658 meters. Now, if the muons were able to travel only 658 meters, how are they traveling this about 6.5 kilometers from the upper atmosphere to the Earth's surface? Because on Earth's surface, at sea level, the number of muons reaching it is about one muon every centimeter square of earth surface per minute so if this is the rate of muons reaching the earth surface and with such a short decay time and with the distance possible distance being about only one tenth of the actual distance required to travel how come the muons are able to travel this far to reach the earth surface and how are they getting detected 
in so many numbers on the earth's surface at sea level so this is the origin of this paradox so this is the paradox in muon lifetime now this can be easily resolved using special theory of relativity postulates let's proceed to do that so how is this paradox resolved the paradox of muon lifetime is resolved by understanding that the lifetime t given as 2.2 microseconds for muon is in the frame of reference of muon so in earth's frame of reference obviously this di li lifetime would dilate so the time dilation is given by this expression we know and uh, we take typical muon velocities to be 0.998 times the velocity of light so if you plug in these numbers the t would be about 34.8 microseconds so in earth's frame of reference the lifetime available for muon to travel is dilated to be about 34.8 microseconds and if the muon has this much time available in earth's frame of reference at this velocity the distance that the muon would be able to travel let's call that d prime would be v times t so 0 0.998 into 3 into 10 power 8 multiplied by this time 34.8 into 10 power minus 6 seconds so if you work out the numbers you would get roughly about 10,400 meters so the muons would be easily able to travel a distance of about 10.4 kilometers with this time dilated time whereas we saw that in actuality the muons are created only at a height of about six and a half kilometers so this time that is available for muons is more than enough for them to travel to the earth's surface so using the concept of time dilation one can easily explain the muon lifetime paradox one can easily resolve this paradox using just time dilation effect right there is another way to see this problem if you were in muon's frame of reference traveling with muon then this distance of six and a half kilometers to reach earth would be contracted as well using a length contraction concept so contracted length is the muon so uh, this distance of about 6.5 kilometers would appear contracted to the muon's frame of reference so if the muons are seeing this distance to be contracted then with the available time of 2.2 microseconds they would be easily able to reach the earth's surface so that is another way of resolving the paradox using length contraction so we can do the numbers now the length or the distance that the muons would see in their frame of reference is the actual distance let us take it to be 6.5 multiplied by 1 minus v squared is 0 0.998 whole square c square over c square so we'll cancel this so if you do the numbers the distance that the muons would have to travel actually to reach earth's surface is only about 390 meters roughly if you do the numbers so this distance is very small in the lifetime of 2.2 microseconds because we already seen that in the available time of about 2.2 microseconds we have calculated that the muons would be able to travel about 658 meters so this distance is less than this therefore obviously with the available time using length contraction the muons would be able to reach the earth's surface in such huge numbers so the muon lifetime paradox therefore can be resolved using either the time dilation effect from earth's frame of reference or the length contraction effect from the muon's frame of reference either way things work out and the lifetime paradox can be easily resolved.
Thank you.